Hero Academia Chapter 398 is going insane. I gotta say, I'm loving this mini arc between All Might and All For One. Finally settling their beef. You gotta love it. If you love All For One, if you love All Might, if you love My Hero Academia and you want first-hand spoilers, reviews, you gotta drop a like to King of Chaos. Your boy will always hook you up. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this review. Chapter starts off right where we left last week with All For One and All Might continuing their battle. All Might has sent in poison inside of <laughs> All For One's body using Hercules. I gotta say, this armor is great i wish other people would have had it but no we're right back at the spot where deku and all might uh went to go say bakugo where you saw deku charging in even without a quirk and uh we find out later in the chapter why that was so impactful to all might but no it's a beautiful uh notion flashback uh paying homage whatever you want to call it to the earlier days of my hero academia and it definitely gives a vibes off that we are coming to the conclusion of not only this battle but this arc so find out a huge weakness for all for one the more damage he takes the younger he gets. So heck, if All Might be able to keep this up for a little bit longer, because keep in mind, you've had All Might, well, Mecha All Might, Hawks, uh, Dark Shadow, Endeavor. So many people have been jumping him. And I mean, he's taken a lot of damage. We also get this beautiful cutaway panel of All for One and All Might's last battle, as well as his current fight with him. It's like, look at that parallel there. You got other All Might versus this one. He's still standing. He is still here. All Might is just not giving up. He's not giving him an inch or a mile. We also finally get a chance to explore more of All Might's backstory. It turns out his whole family was unalived by villains, and that's when he asked them not to take him on as his student. Now, she explained straight up to him, look, homie, I get you're going through a lot. I feel very bad for you, because she's a kind hero, but the truth is the truth. You ain't got no quirks. You've got no riz. You're not that strong. You're good looking. I'll give you that, but you can't protect anything outside of your own three meter area, your three meter radius. That's the best thing you can do is protect everyone within your circle. And All Might's like, nah, I ain't got a quirk. I don't have an area. I don't have a role. There's nothing I can do that I've been designated to do from the beginning. So I want to protect everyone by becoming the symbol of peace. This is crazy. As the battle eggs on and All For One notices, hey, the more I use quirks and the more I prepare my body, the younger I get, they decide, hey, it's time to end this. All Might calls in the rest of his gear from Hercules. Uh, apparently he activates Ingenium and Uravity to boost his mobility. He's, I love I love that he's actually paying homage to all the students. I love that beautifulness. But no, we're finally getting them serious. Everyone's powering up here. One thing I've always appreciated about All Might and most of the older heroes is their realism. They're like, hey, look, I want to keep people safe. You civilians who have, don't have quirks, you're going to have to learn to like stay within your lane and not get injured. But she's also giving him a chance to prove himself despite that. All Might is the first person, as far as we know, to demonstrate the ability to be a hero, even without a quirk in this much of capacity. And she saw that in him, respected that, could tell that he had what was in him. He had that dog in him and decided, hey, I'll take this guy on as my student. Why not? He, he's the one. In the final page of the chapter, you see Shigaraki and Deku facing off, and uh, Shigaraki is looking ugly. Deku's definitely got his Riz game up. He's been trying to, like, take out Shigaraki for a minute, save him, beat him. I don't really know what he's on, but he needs to hurry up and make a decision, because all for one is not going to wait. Anyways, if you enjoyed this chapter, if you can't wait for more My Hero Academia, if you want more early access, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section. Who's going to take this dub? I ain't going to lie here. I feel like All For One's going to pull it off just barely. But I also have a theory video coming on whose body he actually wants to take because I don't think it's Deku's. Anyways, thanks for watching and appreciate you. Take care.